The journey to your growth is an adventure. It's intense and going through it is hard. So what should you do? Get a mentor. And what should you look for your mentor? I'm here to tell you all about it. Hey guys, welcome to WebyTube. It's me, Bella, again. Let's get started, shall we? Having a coach is really important, especially when you're starting out your business. It's actually recommended, not mandatory, but I'd really suggest looking into it. If you are taking my advice, I'm here to teach you about all the things that you should keep in mind in order for you to be able to choose the right mentor fit for you and figure out whether or not the person you, you have right now is actually the one. People who are experienced in this kind of thing will tell you that depending on whom you choose, it can have an effect that is truly beneficial for you or exactly the opposite. This is a time where you're supposed to gain different forms of knowledge and be trained into becoming a better version of yourself. Not becoming someone who is completely unrecognizable and not for the better. Mentors can offer advice that is lousy. I mean, everybody does anyway, right? Sometimes even unprovoked. They'll give you advice when you don't even ask for it. But this is different. We're talking about you working with somebody whom you decided to teach you about doing all the things that you need to do for your startup. Advice this time is mandatory, but what are you supposed to do with what they gave you when it's actually just a piece of dirt for an advice? When it comes to creating your own business, you need different sorts of help, network, and direction. See, your coach should help you build this for yourself. And not only that, but they're supposed to be there to point out the difficulties, the openings, and the things that you are missing and not being able to see as a pioneer and originator. How can you actually tell that someone who is willing to guide you would do all of these things for you? I'm going to give you three main things you should take note of. So grab your notebook and write it all down. Number one is if they don't provoke you. Now I'm not talking about pushing your buttons childishly that you might rip your hair out. Don't do that. Definitely do not do that. Hair takes so long to grow. Anyway, what was I talking about? Right, provoking you. Like I said before, your mentor should be pointing out all the things that you are missing. Of course, once they're all done with that, they shouldn't be leaving you alone. No, they should be guiding you in the right direction and how to conquer all of these things and your fears too. Because who isn't actually afraid when they're starting their business? I'd be crying all the time. That's just because you're a crybaby. Yep, I am. <laughs> so, building an organization requires doing the stuff that you are in love with. I'm talking about love and love. Because if you aren't, what's the point? Your mentor's job here is to definitely drive you where you need and should be. So number two is similar guidance. See? If your mentor is just giving you guidance without asking the right questions to know who you are, what you're building, and what you want to do with your business, say bye and throw him out of here. Seriously, a mentor should be enlightening you in a way that fits you. Number three is not getting back to you. Seriously? Seriously. If they're canceling on you in the last minute or practically ghost you, ghost them back. Be like Danny Phantom. Go and ghost! Know that time is important. They're supposed to give you time. It acknowledges the effort that you both are putting in your startup and, and really it's just respectful. Mentors are supposed to give you a sensible measure of time to set all these goals that both of you have concocted when you're working together. So, someone who just doesn't give a damn about it then tell them this specific quote from pitch perfect you've been <laughs> cut off you are <laughs> cut off yeah. are you serious so to summarize everything so that there is no confusion mentors are supposed to ask you the right questions emphasis on the right you're supposed to be like don't give me the whole cliche stuff give me something that is worthy honestly if they do this to you red flag Red flag. So, sound the alarm. Next is mentors worth your time. Give you time. You are sacrificing your time, effort, money, basically a lot in your business. Lastly, guys, don't be so modest about speaking up. Question all the things that you were confused about or want to clear up. This is important to avoid any type of miscommunication from each other. Now, if you don't have the best mentor for you, inquire as to whether they are happy with the time and vitality they are placing into your prosperity. After all that said, you should be able to answer, are you my tutor without hesitation at all? Now that I have given you all the notes that you should have jotted down, 
this is the time for you to go out now and find your coach. If you're an introvert, I definitely feel your pain. But in doing your startup, you should find someone by socializing with leaders that you or everybody else consider out of your league. Just do it. Just do it! least they can do is say no and what will happen you'll find someone who is really willing to be the right one for you once you finish your networking and already have a mentor don't be so surprised when they give out a few assignments this is really just to check where you are at and if you are the right one for them too in the end seriously guys give yourself time it takes a lot to develop a relationship with your mentor so don't rush into things it doesn't really end well with this your trust in each other will develop into something greater make very good decisions on who you choose to be with you in this journey in your journey check out our merch too by going to teaandsugar.com there is different stuff of graphic tees and hoodies that will definitely suit your satisfaction if you want to read more about this stuff or like different kinds of stuff, go to webbymoney.com. Oh, and let us know what you think about this video by commenting down below. More information is in the description box and make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys. See you in the next video. Au revoir. Childishly. No, 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 because, 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 oh my god, this is great. <laughs>